Salutations, people of the internet and the world. This is Andrea Klein, the owner and operator of Phantom Wolf Studios again. And today, I'll be showing you a um, tutorial on how to make a simple character bios template in a Microsoft Word document. Let's get started. So once in the document, I take it out of the standard left base and centered. But I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to insert and adding a picture. Typically, I would do this last after the bio is made. I'm going to my fair game of Sims 4, make a character for image purpose for a story reference later. But for the tutorial, I did this off screen. So now that we have our image up, we're resizing it to fit our needs. So it's not taking up the entire page. Then once satisfied, we're taking the spacer down. Now we're going back to insert, adding the maximum eight lines in one column, then going to layout and adding 20 more lines. The reason because I typically would do for a template 28 lines to fit my needs because I do the information category title and then a new line, the information underneath it and so on and so forth. So once we have all our lines, we're putting the information in. I typically do the standard Wiki information, so the names first, I'm putting it in bold and getting rid of the colon because I did not like it. Every other title is in bold as well. Then I go on to add age, height, skin color, eye color, hair color, facial structure, body type, noticeable accessory, noticeable body feature, family, love interest, career, and personality. The reason why I do these categories in my bio templates is because if I don't write down this information, I might forget it when I'm farther in the stories and I can't fix any um, redundancies or errors if I don't have this on hand. And I've noticed this with published writing too. When there's not a character bio, information gets put backwards or missaid. Like one character, one character could have blue eyes in the beginning and end up with turquoise eyes by the end, or different skin color, um, be different in ethnicity, animal type as a sister stories, or designation of the sister stories. So this is why a character bio is so needed, especially in longer works, like a full series, or spin-off series, or a extended universe. Because even if you have the same cast for all your books or um, new characters for each book, just introducing past characters as cameos and weaving them in, you need the bios because you don't want to get their descriptions mixed up and confuse the characters because consistency is key in writing and anything else that has world and character building. So at this point, I'm still putting in the um, category titles, which is a very slow and tedious process in itself. But I also use dictation, like you're about to see, um, because I'm personally in bad at spelling, so dictation is my best buddy. Um, when I don't want to grab my phone and look it up. So, I guess I'm still in the process of making the titles and about to use the dictation. And I find this template form very easy compared to other templates. Like, you have the spiderweb method where you have the name of the character and then interweaving information branching out. You have, um, listing formattings, and so many other ways you can do a bio, but me personally, I find the column structure the easiest to look at, but the most tedious to format. That's the downside. Um, later on, I will be adding in a side profile so you can get it, um, a view at any accessories like her earrings she has and then a full body so you can get a full view of what the character looks like from head to toe. Like you would see in a wiki page, you have different angles of the character's image so people can see what they look like. 
for a visual effect. Another thing I would do, but I don't do it for the tutorial, is go in and add the character's name along with the story. But since this is a template, those parts are not in it. But if this was a full bio, I would also be adding in this name of the story along with the information for the character and if they're a minor or major person or being. And under this bio, I'd be having another bio as well for the other characters for that story. And like we said, we're at the part where we're adding in the image. I usually do the side profile first and then the full body. But now I'm just resizing the view because we're like mixing everything big when you pop it in for some annoying reason. Put the spacebar down, go back to insert, and then adding the full body. Which is taking a while to load. And just resizing it. And that's about it for a standard template. Pretty easy, a very helpful tool for any writer or character developer because you can put in your files and when that character can pop up, you can reference them for um, reminder what they look reminder what they look like and then get back to your story writing or script writing. So that's the end of the video. I hope the tutorial was helpful. Can't wait to see you next time. Ciao Bellas!